All right, y'all, welcome back to Janie's Crazy Life. I've been waiting on this package. Um, my mom used to make chemo hats for chemo patients, and I used to do it with her, but I didn't do it like she did it. So I have uh, decided to um, continue her, I guess, mission on making hats for chemo patients. I even created a page for her called Carolyn Cared uh, on Facebook where I post pictures of the hats and actually um, I gave away my first hat since she passed away last weekend at a event I went to a Christmas vendoring event um, I had the hats out on display and a lady came up and they said that she was going to start chemo in a couple weeks so I said pick a hat and please take it but I don't do just the I don't do just these hats. I also do, and I'll turn, I'll turn you around. It's easier to show you turning around. Yeah, turn you around. Okay. We do these hats, and then we put like a flower on the side of them. But I started, I started last year making these hats. Where you take a visor and you knit a top for them. And they went over great at um, Moffitt. Um... In fact, I have some left to do, but I only have at this package, and I think I have two more packages, and there's nine hats in each package, because so, I could only get red, white, and blue back when I got these, so I did a little research, and in my research to hunt up hats to make it affordable, because th I, this is coming out of my pocket, okay? To make this affordable, hold on a second. Um, I'm going to cut this box open. And we're going to see what I got in hats. Because I am hoping that they're okay. I found that Oriental Trade had hats, so... I am hoping that they are, oh, I had not opened this yet, so I'm hoping that these are usable and that they are okay. And I got a variety of colors with them. I mean, I've not had the pink and the purple and the white and the yellow. I went with one because it cost me $60 for this. So that's not that expensive when it comes down to it. Um, but you add in the yarn, you can get three. I think the camera went out, so I don't know where we, where we were at. I get five green, five of this pretty blue. I get some yellow. I get pink, black, blue, and purple, and white, of course. So, very, 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 very happy with this box. Very happy. These will, um, the only difference between the, the other hats and these is this bill's a little straighter. So, but, Bill, the hats are very nice. So, we will be ordering more. These are very nice, so I cannot wait to, um, uh, before I order, though, I'll sew on, a, on the top. You see, what I do is I basically knit the top, and then I hand stitch, um, I hand stitch this on in every one of these spots here. I hand stitch. I don't go through the loops. I actually go through the yarn. That way it stays on better. But I'm very happy. See, it makes for a nice hat. Actually looks really nice on too. But I could not get those hats anymore. So I had to go hunting for some place where it looked like it was decent hat. And these are slightly padded through here. Where, you know, where it looked like it was a decent hat for someone to wear. And I, the only thing I don't like is this bill on the visor. But 
I think it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. And something I could be that I could afford to pay for. Because like I said, there's no I mean, I don't this is this is strictly done because I wanna I wanna keep mama's mission going. There's no there's no financial help with this. And that's okay. I'm not asking for it. Mama used to ask on her cards, they said, and I don't have one handy, but her cards just said, please, no money, um, uh, just yarn donation. I really like that orange, <laughs> but I have a thing for orange this year. Um, it always just said, um, please donation of, if, if, like if mama's card said something, I can't remember exactly what it says because I don't have one in front of me. But it said something about um, if you ha if you're going through. Well, I know she used to tell people if you were going through your grandma's closet and came across yarn or something that um, if you wanted to donate, that would be great. Because I don't know if anybody knows this, but yarn's not cheap anymore. A small skein of yarn can cost up to four dollars, and if it's a small skein, we're lucky if we get two full hats out of it a regular skein we can get about three hats and if it's a solid color we or if it's got a little bit left we use it as a stripe in another hat like this right here this will be a topper for one of these and um i had just a ball left so i used it as a stripe but um so we use every bit of the yarn in a hat but a bigger skein that costs like seven or eight bucks, we can get five or six hats out of it, I think. So, it, 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 and we don't do them that super thick. Mama used to call them Florida hats. Where they um, were not two uh, strands of yarn going at one time. It was just one. So it covered the head in the summer, but wasn't too hot when you're bald. So, um... Oh, yeah, I'm so excited about these. I can order more. I'm going to sew one before I order more. So they need to make sure everything works. I don't want to be out any more money than I already am if it doesn't work out. Because if the hat doesn't, I mean, if, the, if it doesn't sit right once you put the knitted part on, I don't want to be stuck with any more visors than I'm already stuck with for the rest of my life. So I think what I'll do is I'll do a blue one. Since blue seems to be the color I have in the other visors and that way if I'm stuck with wearing these other visors for the rest of my life I got enough different colors to wear with anything I want to wear <laughs> so yeah I'm excited that I got them in I just gotta make sure they're okay a hundred percent before I go ordering more I don't know where else to order them everybody wants like five and six dollars a visor anyplace else oriental trade had the best buy and you have to pay attention what you order or you have to trade because I wanted cotton and these are supposed to be cotton. I did not want that um, like foam stuff or plastic because you have to realize this has got to go on a bald head. And if it's plastic or foamish, it could irritate or itch or scratch a bald head, especially if their head is sensitive. Um, but no. This is my latest endeavor, is to make chemo hats. I knit them while I watch TV at night. So I can get a couple done in the evening if I'm, especially if my husband and I are watching a movie on Netflix or something. I can get a couple of hats done in a, during a movie. So I'm very excited that my hats, cap, my visors, visors, visors came. They were supposed to be here Monday, but they came early. So I'm very happy about that. Very, very happy. And I'm glad to know they came in plastic, even though it squishes them, because they delivered to the house, and I don't want to take a chance on uh, on uh, them getting wet. But, yep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with one, and then probably order more ha more visors. Like I said, these go crazy. These go so fast. They go so fast. I, um... I don't remember how many I did when I was at Moffitt with Mama, but um, I took I took like 30-some in one day, and I went back a couple days later because she had treatment, and they were gone. They said they went 
fast. So, um, I, I donate the hats to Florida Cancer and Moffitt right now. And if somebody tells me, like, Oncology, I think it's Oncology 21 or something, if somebody tells us about another place, um, we take them there, too. So, and I think we've taken them to radiation office, a local radiation office in town. Um, Mom was taking them there. I just, 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 I just used to make them with her. I didn't pay attention to how many I made. I wish we'd paid attention to how many Mama made because she made them for the last eight years of her life. She started fighting cancer. She started dealing with cancer 10 years, the last 10 years of her life, but during that second or third year or somewhere, she started making chemo hats. And then she was making them so much that she had to... How, how many would you say she's done, Phil? Because she's taken bags and bags and bags. Tens of thousands? Well, yeah, well, I think it's more than that. Because you see how many hats I have ready to go. And I just made them last week. Here, I'll show you guys how many hats I have ready to go. Hold on. Okay, this is how many hats I have ready to go. I got this bag of visor ones. And then I've got more visor ones in here. That's just an empty thing. But I got this whole, this is one of those comforter, like bedroom with a comforter, pillow shams, bed skirts, all that. Um, this is one of those clear containers. And it's over half full. But, and I also do this. I also take these caps, pay a few dollars for these, and I bling them up. I've got at least two right now. I took a whole bunch in several months back. You know, well, I took a whole bunch in just before we went to Moffitt or right after we went to Moffitt. But I took a bunch of these to Moffitt, too, and they went fast, too. So I have at least two of those now. I'll be doing more of those because I've got more um, hats here. And... Uh, I've been putting flowers on some of the hats. Let me see if I can find a flower one for you. So you can see what the flower ones look like. I'll try to do plain ones for men. I know there's flower one in here. Here we go. We buy buttons, or we bought buttons. We put a flower and a button on them. See? So that all costs money. So here's a couple with a couple flowers on it. Here's one with a pretty button on it and a flower. It just blings them up a little bit. Makes them not so much, you know, a hat. A plain knitted hat. It gives them a little more oomph to them. So, some... Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Some get them and some don't. I'm not sure if these are going to get flowers yet. They probably will. Um, but these will be going to the Cancer Center. Um, they're going to the Cancer Center. Monday or Tuesday of next week, I'm taking them. Um, this bag that just fell over here is some of the hats Mama did, some of the last hats Mama did before she passed away. See, she used to make this crochet flower, and I don't like making those. <laughs> so, I'm not making those. And I actually decided to keep a couple of these that she made for myself. So those two I'm actually keeping. But her cards basically were like this. But I'm going to be doing a card with her picture to the side here. And it says, her cards now just say handmade hats because Carolyn cares. And the new cards will say uh, Carolyn cared. And then uh, hopefully I'll do the back where it says a little write-up about her. That, you know, she made hats eight years of her fight with cancer and we're continuing her mission. And then all it said at the bottom was, please call if you need a hat or to donate yarn. See, please call if you need a hat or donate yarn. We never asked for any money. So, um, the only time we ever put a price tag on a hat is if we did an event and we put it on, put the hats on a head and we um, sold the hats 
uh, for a few dollars, like six bucks, and told people that the that six dollars pays for a skein of yarn that we can make, you know, three at least at least three hats out of one skein. Uh, if we go with basic, we like to. I like to get the Hobby Lobby yarn because uh, it's really soft. But that's what I'm up to right now. One of the things I'm up to. I'm up to a lot of things, but this is one of the things I've been working on. And there's got to be about 30 hats in there at least. At least 30. Maybe more. Maybe more. There's a few in that bag too that Mama made that I'll be pulling out to take too. But there's at least... I think there's, there's got to be 30 or 40 hats in there. They'll be going next week. Alright, that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm so glad my hat, my advisors came in today. Ooh, I'm excited about that. See you on the next video. As I say... Um, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and remember, um, I don't remember. Remember that, you know, when the, remember to laugh about the, remember, the of life. what? Oh, enjoy the craziness of life because you might just laugh about it when you tell a friend. It's the end of the year and my brain is like, I don't want this. I'm not having a, I'm not in the Christmas mood. I'll put it that way. I'm not blah, but I'm not in a Christmas mood. I think it's because I miss Mama. So, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Hi, right, you guys. I quickly sewed on that hat. It came out nice. So, I'm going to make me another order. They actually feel okay on, too. I tried it on real quick. I don't like to put the hats on after I make them because I don't like to have my head in it. But I had to try one on just to make sure. But it came out nice. This is the new visor. This is the old visor. The only difference is the brim here. I mean the bill. And actually once this is on, it kind of curves a little bit. So it's nice. Um, it feels like it might be plastic in there. Like this is cardboard, I think. But it, it I don't know. I don't know what's in there. I'm not going to cut it open. But it actually feels okay. In fact, I think the new one feels better than the old one. But... Uh, yep, it's it, they're gonna be okay. They're gonna be okay. So I'm gonna order more. I'm so excited because I got other colors to play with. I can like like this one right here. Look at this. Won't that look nice on either the orange hat or even the yellow hat? Look at that. Look how nice that will look. That would even look nice in that yellow hat. And then the rainbow yarn that I use. Look how nice the rainbow yarn would look on either hat. See? So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right, that's it. Talk to y'all later. Next video.